Good morning, dear students. Hope all of you are fine. So today we are learning the chapter acid, base, and salt. So already we discussed the differences between acid and base in the previous class. So uh, so many acids we learn like acetic acid, lac lactic acid, citric acid, tartaric acid, etc. And the uh, you already heard about hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, etc. So, these are mainly we using in the chemical laboratories to conduct different experiments. So, when highly concentrated sulfuric acids falls on the skin, it may damages to the body. Okay, a whole like structure will form when it falls on the surfaces of the skin. So, you already know about these acids and bases. Today we are learning about the neutral solution. So, neutral solution. So, what do you mean by neutral solution? A solution which is neither acidic nor basic in nature. Or a solution which do not change the color of an indicator. That is to be termed as a neutral solution. So when we take the case of water, you just smell it. Can you have any smell? And uh, you can taste it. So what is the taste of the water? So it may be acting as a neutral, isn't it? So when we take the case of acids, it may be, what is the taste? You can feel, na? So likewise, uh, these uh, water do not possess any means a taste. So what do you mean by neutral solution? A solution which is neither acidic nor basic in nature or a solution which do not change the color of an indicator. That is to be termed as a neutral solution. So what do you mean by indicators? Indicators are solutions of some substances show different color in acid, basic or a neutral solution are called a indicators. Once again, Solution of some substances show different color in acidic, basic or neutral solution are called a indicators. And next is we are learning about a, the neutralization reaction. Learning about a neutralization reaction. Here the reaction between an acid and base is known as a neutralization. When an acid and bases react together, there may be the neutralization reaction taste. With. So, we will continue with the one example. So, here one acid that I take is hydrochloric acid. H indicates hydrogen, Cl indicates the chlorine. So, all together we can say hydrochloric acid. And next step, it may be mixing with the sodium hydroxide. Na indicates sodium, OH is a hydroxyl group. All together we can term as a Sodium hydroxide. Okay. When it combines with each other, there may be the formation of one salt. Salt that is the sodium chloride. Na indicates sodium. Cl indicates the chlorine. Okay. Altogether we can say sodium chloride. At the same time, there may be the production of water and heat also. Okay. So we can again look the neutralization reaction. The reaction between an acid and a base is known as a neutralization reaction. Salt and water are the products of this reaction. Associated with a lot of heat should be released. Okay. So, acid I choose is a hydrochloric acid and it combines with the sodium hydroxide. There may be the formation of one salt that is sodium chloride. At the same time water. Water, uh, how can we write H2O? Two hydrogen and one oxygen. So, that we can say dihydrogen oxide too. Okay. So, water H2O. So, I hope all of you understood about a neutralization reaction. So, if you have any doubt regarding this portion, you can comment in the 7th science group. Thank you. Have a nice day.